Hi Scorpio and welcome back to my channel. My name is Renee and this is New Angel Tarot. Today's reading is going to be a quick week ahead forecast for your sun sign uh, Scorpio or if you have Scorpio in your other uh, placements. This is going to be a very quick video just to give you a snapshot for the week starting the 17th of January 2022. Without further ado, let's get started on your reading. Angel Spirits Guides, Angel Spirits Guides. What does Scorpio need to know for the week ahead? 17th of January. 2022. Okay, you've got the Queen of Wands, the Ace of Wands, and the Page of Wands. Wow, lots of wand energy. And you also have the Three of Coins. Let's clarify the Three of Coins as the overarching energy on the split. And you have the Ten of Wands. This is great. So lots of Wands energy, uh, fire energy for you this week, Scorpio. It's all systems go. All right, let's get started on your reading. Okay, so kicking off your week, and I feel that you're embodying this. This is the Queen of Wands card. Um, this is a card of sort of female empowerment. You're in the spotlight this week, uh, Scorpio. If you're a male or female, it doesn't really uh, matter. We don't read in sexes. We read in the energy. Um, and this is basically you embodying this power. This is also the card of Leo, and it's also what I call the Madonna card. So Madonna's always in the spotlight, you know, the pop star, not the Virgin Mary. Um, and, you know, and but she also takes care of her tribe. She makes sure that everyone's, you know, cool and everyone's sort of looked after. But she also provides passion, heat, warmth. Uh, she's very welcoming, and she also is a mentor for others. So I feel like you might be, um, you know, casting sort of your creativity, um, you know, within a community, or sharing your skills, or sharing the fact that you know you are a, a person that people can approach. And that you are a person who is um, highly successful and also a person who is, um, you know, very abundant when it comes to what they're passionate about. OK, so this week, Scorpio, you're definitely um, sitting in the hot seat. You've got the Ace of Wands here. So I feel like some of you might be starting a new romance. If you're single, the Aces are about new beginnings. And if you are single, this could indicate some, you know, sexy time as <laughs> As they'd say, I know that sounds daggy, but it's kind of true. Okay, if you're not a single, this can basically indicate you starting a new project, something that you're very passionate about, okay? And it's also working on the self. It's about you starting, um, you know, uh, a new love or a new passion for something that you've always wanted to do. And this is all about new beginnings. So this is a really beautiful time for you this week, Scorpio. It's going to be hot, hot, hot. You've also got the Page of Wands, another, um, you know, fire card. This is all about university mode. So I feel like this week, Scorpio, you could even be learning something new. You could be taking on a new course of study or you could just be taking it upon yourself to actually get your hands, you know, moving into a project or something that you need to upskill in um, because the, the page of wands is also about, you know, learning new skills and fertility and new ideas. So even though you're a master in many areas of your life, um, you know, you are sort of starting something new here. And because you're starting something new, that page indicates, you know, student mode, actually understanding that you have to, um, you know, there's always new things to learn. Knowledge is power. So you're going to be sort of kicking off the week, um, I feel very strongly, with something new. The overarching energy for the reading is the uh, three of coins. This is a message for some, not for all, but some of you might be looking at relocating. There could be a sense here of real estate or moving offices or just collaborating with others, okay? So traditionally in the Rider Waite, this is a card of the priest, the architect, um, and the um, the priest, the architect, oh, I've forgotten what the other guy is, mental blank. But you could be moving, okay? So this card for me as a reader is generally the card of the, um, you know, of real estate. So you could be buying a house, selling a house, dealing with property, dealing with someone in a rental situation. There's something like that. It's clarified by the Ten of Wands. So it feels like there's some sort of heavy burden when it comes to real estate for you at the moment. Um, there could be some sort of financial burden that you're carrying or some sort of um, heavy, uh, you know, attachment to something in regard to housing. But I feel very strongly it is coming to an end because, you know, the 10 uh, in terms of numerology means that you are coming to the end of that pip. And, you know, the 10 then turns into a 1, which means, you know, at the end of this week, I feel that there will be some sort of resolution here, okay? Because the 10 then turns into a 1, which means, you know, the burden is going to be lifted. So you won't be carrying this for much longer, Scorpio. 
So I sort of hope that makes sense. Oh, it's the priest, the architect, and the clergyman. Sorry, I had a mental blank before. It happens. Um, but look, traditionally, it is about building and it's about creation because the three is, you know, mother, father, child, maybe mother, crone, um, you know, three people coming together and creating that stability for, you know, creative evolution in a sense as well. But in regard to this, it's about pentacles. So it is about, um, you know, something to do with the home and something to do with the structure. So as I said, homes or offices or real estate, okay, is going to be the focus this week. Scorpio, I hope you really enjoyed this reading. If you did, please give me a thumbs up if you resonated with it. Also, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell and you'll receive guidance every week. If the readings are resonating for you and you came to this video today, it's a sign, okay? It's not a coincidence. I hope you really enjoyed it. If you'd like a personal reading, please check out my website below, newangeltarot.com. If you'd like to learn tarot with me, you can. I'm starting courses in about three weeks' time. I'm doing a six-week beginner course. Uh, so if you're very new to tarot, I can walk you through for one hour a week. It's really intensive, but it's, as I said, only one hour a week on a Sunday. If you're already familiar with tarot and you'd like something a little bit more nitty-gritty, um, I'm going to be doing a three-week advanced course, and that's also starting on the 6th of February. All the links are below. So until next time, thanks for watching, Scorpio. Have a great week, and I'll see you soon. Bye for now.